I'll be going over how to get acorns and pine cones for the upcoming fall DIYs that you'll be able to get very soon in Animal Crossing. It's almost September in the Northern Hemisphere, which means fall DIYs are on their way. They'll be falling from balloons, so make sure you've got your slingshot ready and you're on the lookout for special presents floating through the sky because you don't want to miss these extremely cute fall-themed DIYs that you can collect during the fall time. I just wanted to pop in to say these pine cones and acorns are only available in the Northern Hemisphere from September 1st to December 10th. So if you want acorns and pine cones, make sure you shake your trees between these two dates or else you'll, ha you'll miss the opportunity to collect these crafting materials. So to begin our journey to collect acorns and pine cones, you first need the appropriate trees. And so those would be the cedar tree and the pine tree. Now I recently just flattened my entire island because I'll be redoing it. So I need some trees to plant because I cut all mine down and also get some saplings. So cedar trees and saplings are what you need. Since my island is flattened, I'm just gonna choose a random area of my island to start planting these trees. So now that I have all my trees planted, I'll just have to wait three days. So I'll be back in three days to check on my trees and show you the next step in how to collect the acorns and pine cones. So it's been three days and even Isabel is talking about the acorns and pine cones that have fallen out of the trees. Yes, so exactly, this is what you do. You just shake the trees. Even Isabel can explain it. Acorns and pine cones. All right, so let's go check on our trees. All right, let's shake it. You can shake it up to 10 times in order to try to get an acorn or a pine cone. In this case, it'd be acorn. So let's, let's keep shaking until nothing else comes out of the tree. So it looks like we are not getting an acorn out of that tree. Let's continue. So there we have it, an acorn fell from the tree. As you can see, you probably need to shake the tree a decent amount of times for the acorn to fall. It is a slow falling item, so it will take a few tries of shaking to get the acorn to fall. But now we can try for some pine cones. Same with the pine trees. You'll have to shake them a decent amount of times in order to activate the pine cone to fall if that tree has a pine cone item assigned to it today. And there we go. There's our pine cone. As you can see, I have to shake quite a few times, but here's our lovely little pine cone ready to be made into some cute DIY items. I do recommend you carry a net around with you for this, just in case you do encounter some wasp nests. That way you can easily catch them with the net instead of getting stung. This will save time in the end. You don't have to keep running around getting medicine and healing yourself, or worse, getting knocked out and being sent back to your house. So I'm going to shake the remaining of my trees and I'll be back once I'm done. I just wanted to add a side note. If you have shaken the trees and you're not picking up all the items that fall out of the trees every time and you have the trees as close together as I do, you're going to need to pick up all the fallen items in order for the next tree to actually drop any items because the game will not let, let the trees drop more items if there's no room on the ground. So you might be shaking a tree for minutes and you're confused why nothing has fallen out. Well, take a look on the ground, see if any items are blocking the fall path of items from the tree and just pick them up. As a good rule of thumb, I just pick up all the items as I go, or at least I try to. That way, there's always free ground space for the next tree to drop as many items as possible. Alright, so I've shaken all my trees and I got four acorns and three pine cones. And so I have about 20 trees here and I've got seven crafting materials, four acorns and three pine cones. So, <laughs> As you can see, you're not gonna be getting acorns and pine cones from every single tree every day. That's why it's important to 
come back to your trees every day and shake them as much as possible in order to get the max amount of crafting materials possible for that day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope this video will help you get some more acorns and pine cones for the upcoming fall season so you're able to make the very cute fall themed DIYs with the pine corns and acorns. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if this video helped you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!